Hobbs and Shaw felt more like the comic strip Calvin and Hobbs because there is definitely more humor than substance in this movie, but that's what you get with the Fast and Furious movie, and if that's your cup of tea, then have fun at the theater. Today's guest is Emily, an avid horror fan, but she's stepping out of her genre today to check out some action. So, Emily, thanks for being on the Hi. show with The Real Screeners. Hi, How are you doing, Emily? Thank Good. you for Hi. being on the show. Thank you. All right. Now, before we get started with our review, we just want to let you know that we have yet another giveaway for you guys. We have a $25 gift certificate to Twin Peaks. So definitely stick around to the end to see how you can win this. I'll give you a hint. It involves a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, guys, we do ask you, to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And with that, let's get started. Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw is directed by David Leitch, who also directed Deadpool 2 and Atomic Blonde. This film stars Dwayne Johnson, Jason Statham, Idris Elba, and Vanessa Kirby. The conflict in this movie is that um, there's this virus that is set out into the world that could potentially wipe out humanity. And so it's up to uh, Hobbs and Shaw, which is played by the, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham, um, to save the day. That's right, Emily. That's a very ridiculous premise, and you just hit it on the nail, right? I mean, come on. This movie is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. It's like this really like outlandish, bombastic, crazy action movie. Almost looks like a cartoon at times. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah. we mentioned in the intro that this was more of a humorous movie than an action movie. I enjoyed it more for that because I felt like the action sequences were super repetitive, and the cinematography yeah. was over dramatic. Oh, yeah. This movie was over long. Yes. It oh yeah, it felt dragged. Really long and it almost felt like it had a couple of endings like you were like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait, there's more? But yeah, you're right. The movie works best when the humor, right. you know, is happening and especially when there's this like exchange of insults, if you will, between right. the two main characters and some of the other characters and uh, that's where the movie shines. Yeah, and so most. we heard Emily laughing a ton in the theater. <laughs> I did. So right. Emily, why don't you tell us what you thought about the movie? Well, yeah, yeah um, the movie itself was, there was action, of course, but there was a lot of um, the comical relief into it. Um, I was going to, I was mentioning earlier that there was a, I won't name names, but there was a certain actor that came in and um, was a comical reminder to the movie, so it made it kind of like, right. was this a comedy or is it an action, more or less? But it did, um, there were times in the action where I was um, noticing that there was like a super villain. As they say like, in the trailer, Black Superman, right? I yeah. yeah. To me, it was almost unfair that he had certain features to himself right. that he, you know, and that the other normal human, mm -hmm. they had, you know, characters did characters, not. Exactly, they didn't have what he okay. had. So it was like um, very super villain like and more almost Marvel like. Yeah, um, in some ways it was like a callback to maybe the Terminator, yeah. right? Or right. yeah. From the very first sentence that he utters in this movie, you're like, man, this guy has gravitas. This guy has presence. You well know? yeah, he's probably the best actor in he the film. Easily is the best actor easily. in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean with Dwayne Johnson, you know what you're gonna get. I mean he does these crazy facial expressions. <laughs> Does right. the eyebrow? Yeah, There's with the eyebrow. <laughs> I uh, think it's a famous. Jason Statham part. is pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. I think that he's just he's like one he has the, the look one of an action guy, hero, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, Vanessa Kirby actually had some pretty good scenes. What yeah. did you think of? What did you think of the? She the, was killer. I did yeah. think so. She uh, she kept it like honestly. She kept her emotions down. I think you can tell that she was just like like a feminine like oh my god like scared. She almost seemed like she was like owning it. You know, every time she came into the scene, so yeah, it was like right. Yeah, that's good. Now they did try to develop some drama scenes around her, I won't mm. get too much into that, but like we were mentioning in the theater, they kind of overloaded that and saved it for kind of the third act. Yeah. Which um, messed with the tones. Yeah, it's just that it, uh, this movie kind of was all over the place tone-wise, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, um, and it got to the point where they were trying to make up, I guess, for characterization, uh, a lack of characterization development right. later on in the movie, and some senti some sentimental scenes just kind of were just thrown in there, um, and they seemed kind of out of place. I is what I felt. Could have done yeah. without, in my opinion. I yeah, think some so. of those scenes. Yeah, could have yeah. done without. And another thing that I found annoying in the movie was the tension between the two actors. I just felt like it was overblown. It was almost in every mm. scene. It was kind of annoying. You found it you know annoying. I, yeah. I actually disagree with that. I like the exchange between them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I do agree that in some scenes maybe they dragged it on for a little too right. long, but I thought that some of the jokes were actually surprisingly funny. Well, no, some yeah. of it was good. Oh, all right, well, you said well, you did. Liked it, it added so. it to the comedy 
comical feature that they were really like trying to make it apparent, you know, that it was comical. It was um, a feud from previous movies. It added to like the comical and the story as well. So I don't know. I liked that a lot. It added to the, the you know, yeah, tension I, of the I, movie. I, I, I guess. guess. I mean, I, I liked a few of those. I just felt like it was too much. I was like, a lot of this movie was set piece after set piece. It seemed very repetitive for me, at least. And then like, no, it like, did seem some of the humor was sure. like. Okay, it was over and over maybe? and over and over. Yeah, well, I mean, those are some of my favorite scenes. Okay, so I am gonna knock this movie for having way too much action and the mm. action dragging. And that's, that's interesting coming from me because I grew up on action movies, right? But, I mean, I, I liked some of the action sequences. Some um, of the action sequences were good, but I mean, overall, I think John Wick outdoes with the, you know, outdoes well, it yeah, with the stylishness of, course, yeah. of it, you know? And I think that this movie attempted to do that. It attempted to be stylish with its action sequences, but they just came off as kind of ordinary to Yeah, me. It's, and way over the top. Did you see some of that you over know, the topness going on here? There was a lot of over the top. Uh, I would say cheesy a little bit. Like yeah. everything just kind of worked out for them. There was a scene in the end where they gave up, I won't say too much, but they gave up weapons. That was interesting because it was like, it wasn't just a normal action scene where it was fighting and all that. It was more, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to see what was going to happen next. So even though it was a little cheesy in my opinion, it was, um, it was exciting to see what they had planned. I, yeah, my my yeah, favorite yeah. action sequences involved Idris Elba and his motorcycle. I won't say anything beyond that, but <laughs> to me that was oh, eye yeah. candy. I was like, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that was that looks yeah. fantastic. Crazy. It was a little unrealistic with the you know with the motorcycle and all, but it was really cool to watch. I mean, I wasn't oh. sitting there going, what? But I was like, what, what I was about entertained. The helicopter? the helicopter was. I mean, of course that could never happen, right? But like, <laughs> I would just love to see it. You know, it's like one of those yeah. cheesies where you love to hate it. You know, it's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You just kind of yeah. go with it. This is Suspend right. disbelief, where you right? just kind of go with yeah, the silliness of it. You I either do. choose to go with the silliness or you don't. So yeah. I walked out of it not hating. I loved. It. I liked it. You know. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I did. I did end up liking it. Just. All right, so now that we've bashed this movie enough, <laughs> let's go on to our real ratings here. I'll go ahead and start off. So immediately, I will say that for me, this was a three out of five real movie. There's a reason why I don't watch the Fast and Furious movies because I just feel like it's more style over substance. And that's what you get with this movie. It's saving grace is that it is very self-aware, does not take itself seriously. So if you're into that and you love the action from the Fast and Furious movies, go watch it, but I will never watch this movie again. Yeah, I can totally see how a lot of people will be turned off by this movie and I've only seen maybe like three Fast and the Furious films and I want to say that number seven is probably the one that I liked the most. I mean, I agree that it, it's very self-aware. Yeah. It knows exactly what it's doing. It's meant to be silly and you either ride with the silliness or you don't, like I said before. And I enjoyed the jokes. I did laugh throughout the movie, but it's it's really like nonsensical it's really silly it's you know void of a good story void of plot so i agree with the three star rating um so emily i'm gonna give it a three and a half because um first of all the soundtrack was badass um the humor was comical i did laugh in the theater like you said i was sitting there laughing throughout the whole thing and um the reason i'm giving it a three and a half and not a whole five stars is because it, i think i think it was missing some content, a lot of answers were, or questions were unanswered, and just a lot of things were left out to where it was a long movie, but it could have been longer to answer more of my questions, I guess. And better. Yeah. Great. Or they could have trimmed stuff out and added the content. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And before we go, we definitely want to remind you guys to comment down below for a chance to win this $25 gift certificate to Twin Peaks. We'll randomly be choosing a commenter. So go ahead and let us know what you think about this review. That's right. And don't forget to find us on social media. We're on Facebook at Real Screeners and Instagram Real.Screeners. And as always, thank you to the Alamo Draft House for providing great service, great food, and great atmosphere. And guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And tune in next time for our next Real Take on Movies. <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw, really, but it's. Calvin, oh. <laughs> Calvin and Ho Hobbs Calvin. and Shaw. Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shuku Shuku Shaw. <laughs> Fast and the Furious. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the Furious. The Furious movie. Tune in next time for our next take on our real. No, no. <laughs> That's okay. No, no. And yes, don't forget to like. No, I said life again. <laughs> this is too funny. Okay.
pretty. You want to do it one more time? Yes, Emily? I do, because I don't know how to end it. <laughs>